When it comes to you becoming a fitter, stronger runner, there are a few things you need to know and mistakes you need to avoid so that you can keep running longer, faster, and staying injury free. Mistake number one, pushing yourself too hard. One of the biggest mistakes that new runners make is thinking that every run needs to be a lung busting hard effort and that the only way to get a meaningful workout when running is to push themselves hard on every single run. First of all, that's a great way for running to become unenjoyable very quickly. Second, pushing yourself hard with every run will leave you more likely to get injured. But most importantly, you'll build your endurance much more quickly if you slow your pace to a point where you're not out of breath when you run. This simple approach to pacing will allow you to develop your aerobic energy system and enable you to run stronger for longer. Don't get me wrong, your pace will benefit from regular intense running workouts, but for all but more advanced runners, one speed session per week is usually quite enough. Keep your running pace easy otherwise. Mistake number two, neglecting your recovery. This is true in most sports, not least running. It's not that professional athletes necessarily train much harder than keen amateurs. Often the difference between the two is that the pros have the time and the opportunity to prioritise their recovery with as much importance as their workouts, while us amateurs need to balance training, work and other pressures. That doesn't mean that you're not able to give your body a helping hand so that you can recover more effectively between running workouts. Even the hardest working runner can make sure that they drink enough water during the day to rehydrate after running, eat a balanced diet to promote recovery and get enough sleep. After all, it's while you're asleep that your body goes into full-on growth and repair mode so that you can recover stronger between sessions. Neglecting your nutrition, hydration and sleep is a recipe for poor recovery, potentially leading to illness, injury and poor results from your training. So look after yourself between runs. Mistake number three, too much, too fast, too soon. We've all been warned of the dangers of doing too much running too soon, either when starting out as a new runner or when returning from an injury. However, I like to add too fast right in the middle there. I've met so many injured runners who get hurt just as they start to incorporate speed workouts into their training schedule. The issue isn't usually that the speed workouts are a problem themselves, rather the fact that they're often also trying to increase their weekly mileage at the same time. For example, perhaps they're in week four of a marathon training plan, where they're running more miles each week, but they're also following speed workouts in the plan, a combination of volume and intensity that their body just isn't used to. This all comes down to planning. If you know that you're going to start a marathon training plan in the next few months, start gradually increasing your weekly running mileage now so that when your training plan starts properly, your body will be used to that training load and the additional speed workouts won't be too big of an additional shock to the system because you're only adding one new thing at a time. Mistake number four, not setting goals. This sounds like a big cliche, but it's so true. When it comes to your running, you need to set a destination a goal, before you can start mapping out your route, your training plan. Without a running goal in mind, your training will be unfocused and inconsistent, and you won't see the satisfying results that come with a proper training plan. Your goal doesn't need to be a race, or even anything performance related, although it certainly can be. Instead, you might want to set a process-driven goal of running perhaps three times per week consistently for 12 weeks. You know yourself best though, so have a think about what kind of goal would suit your running and let me know down in the comments. Mistake number five, doing nothing but running. Runners like you and I love to run. In fact, it's the simplicity of running that I find so appealing. We love to run to the point that often getting us to do anything else during the little time we have to exercise each day can be quite a challenge. It's not until it's too late and we're at the physio clinic to deal with an injury that we realise the importance of strength exercises and mobility work. The simple fact is that runners who make time for strength training get injured less often. I'm a big fan of a little and often approach to injury prevention exercises for runners using exercises that can easily be done at home. Next up. Common wisdom tells us that as we get older, our running has to slow down. But what if I told you it didn't have to be that way? There are lots of examples of runners out there